Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth progress report of this beautiful Nomad phone. I'm glad to say that we are almost freaking done. So maybe we're gonna change the name of this, with this series. Instead of startup in one month, it should be startup in one week. Because I freaking killed it, it and I'm almost done. Um, last progress report, the last time you saw me, I have finished making the core functionality, which is searching for numbers, buying the numbers, getting the numbers, getting the email notifications and all that stuff. Now, what I did today in the, my five hours of coding was um, I did the whole part of the user authentication where the people can log in, people can log out, people can create an account, as you can see here, people can say forgot password, People can do all sorts of shit. In my case, I already can log in, I think. And yep, there I, here I am. So yes, people can log in. People can see their dashboard. People can modify their account, a, change their password, change their email. We're working with Passport.js for authentication. I am making a very simple authentication, user and password kind of thing. I'm using cookies, nothing crazy. Um, changing email verification with Mailgun, we're sending emails with Mailgun, and I am also resetting passwords using Mailgun and a couple of st other stuff. So yes, that's it. Um, before you saw just the core uh, functionality. Now this functionality is um, mixed with the user functionality. So now the app is almost finished. The last thing I need to do is to enable payments. Uh, because right now what's happening is that when the user is renting a phone number, he's getting the price, the raw price of a number, but I'm the one paying for this. All right, so when he rents a phone number, which we'll do right now, because I want you to see how what happens, that everything works. When he rents a phone number, this is the, this is the cost of the phone numbers, my cost, because I'm paying some, somebody for those phone numbers. I need to make money here for the servers and for my coffee and my kimchi. So I need to maybe charge... 50, 150 instead of one, or maybe two instead of one, and like maybe add a one dollar extra commission for me. I don't know, but we need to do that tomorrow or on the next progress report. And we need to make it pretty because right now it's not pretty at all. As you can see, it's working, but now it's tied to my account. Uh, it was a very long morning of coding, so we're going to upload a time lapse because I'm going to take five hours of video and make them into short so you can see me moving fast and coding fast. I made this notion board. And on this notion board, I started my day with features that I wanted to include and with to-dos that I had to do. As you can see, these are the four to-dos that we need to, the only four to-dos that I need to do uh, for now. And I have included a features board. Let me explain to you really quick how the features board look. There are four kinds of features. Must, no, three. Must, should, and could. Must are features that my product needs to live, to survive. I need to be able to, for example, pay for a number. Everything that is in done here was in must. I need to be able to log in. I need to be able to buy a phone number. I need to be able to change my email, change my password. This is something that is necessary into the app. So I put it into must. Should. Should is something that it will be cool if my app had it, but it's not super necessary. So for example, in this case, a little bit of password should be longer than whatever, because right now you can have a password of one character. Um, you can see your billing history, maybe you can change your first name and your last name. All that stuff is in shoot, which is something that I'm going to work on only after my app is launched, only after the website is live. I'm going to work on shoot, which is something that is like nice to have, but it's not super necessary. And the last thing is could. And could is something in the far future, after everything in shoot is finished, I'm going to move to could, which is something that will be cool, but it's super not necessary at all. For example, an iOS and Android app made with React Native for my customers to check their messages on their phone, like an inbox app of their messages on their phone. Super not necessary at all. That's why it's in could, all right? So as soon as I finish in the most, I'm going to move into should. But if you finish all the most, then you should show to people, all right? And then I believe 100% that once I publish this, everybody is going to fill up my, thing, my list of more musts, like bug fixing that I didn't see. If you want to see this Notion board by yourself, just go to the link on the description or go to Nomad Phone GitHub and it's here. Feature list plus to do's. And that's it. This is the progress report. There's a couple of bugs, of course, that I need to fix. Nothing too extraordinary. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next progress report. Enjoy the time lapse, and yes, give me your feedback. Leave me likes, leave me comments. Tell me what you think of this progress. Tell me what you think about the way of showing you this progress. If you think I should improve something, if you want to see something, if you don't like the time lapse, if you want to make it longer, if you want to see it shorter, just tell me. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you in the next progress. We're almost done with this startup in one week. Bye bye.